One Extra. It's BBC Radio One Extra. We signed up. We ain't declined. Hey. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. What's the word? Jay Critch in the building. You already know what's in up. I'm building. here with Reese. We lit. BBC One Extra. You Let's know what's going go, on. Champ. Bro, you brought about half of New York with you. Exactly. Is this how two money gang rolls? That's how we roll. You know regular. what I'm saying? 30 deep, regular. but it really be more of us. Trust me. Exactly. Um, bro, new album, Hood Favorite. Hood um, Favorite. Out right now. Out everywhere. Bro, uh, I love the album. It's a banging album. Thank I feel you. like you had a lot of pressure for this album as well. I mean, even Definitely. just on Instagram, like all the fans being like, you post a picture of you and your girl and someone just comment, yeah, but just drop the album. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no one cared about anything else. But Word, the they was mad album. at me, man. They yeah. was mad at me. They, they didn't care about nothing I was posting. They wanted that that tape, you know what I'm saying? So it's finally out. Her favorite, my first project. It's out anywhere you stream music. It's out. And um, bro, I feel like the the record that really caught the attention of most people was Try It with Fab and French Montana. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I remember being as a kid and it wasn't even Fab's music that got me into him. It was the Street Dreams album cover where Fact. he's wearing the blue fur <laughs> jacket and the Tims on the Lambo. Yeah. But um, it felt like you've always had like an affiliation with Fab as well and looked up nah, to him. definitely. Definitely. Like Fab been a, one of my main artists I was bumping since I was little. You know what I mean? Just, just off the strength of who he is and, and and my brother listening to him, my older brother. So mm. shout out my brother Matches. So for me, Fab was definitely somebody that inspired me to get into music, to get into rap, start writing raps. So I'm going to always have that respect for Fab. He showed me love, feel me? Try a video out now. Produced by Harry Fraud, French and Fab, Jay Critch, her fave. You know what's going on. You know, two New York legends. Yeah. And the up and coming legend. Exactly. Um, but with, with, you know, London here, it's obviously divided sometimes in North, West, East, South, and feels like the same in New York. There's always this battle to be the king of New York. Yeah. Um, you know, I know you and 6 9 had your Instagram business that went on, um, but what's it like being an artist in New York? And, you know, it, does it, is it still that same kind of thing where everyone wants to be the king? Because it felt like you and 6 9 went out on Instagram for really no reason. Like, Man, I feel like the people are going to tell who the king is, man. And no, nobody that's up and coming is the king of New York. Let me, let's make that clear. The ODs that have been around forever is the King of New York. Fab, French, Hove, those type of guys is the King of New York. Mm. When you were first coming in the game, talking about you King of New York, you can't do that. And you ain't, you ain't earn that title. Feel me? The people going to speak. So me, I don't feel like I'm King of New York. I'm one of the kings of New York. It's a bunch of kings coming out of New York. It's not one King of New York. You know what I mean? Okay, like, do you think that will be... One king, or it will always be like this it now. So many be, eyes coming. It will always be kings. Nobody is king of nobody. And uh, I, I was watching, you know, one of your other interviews, and you talk about, and you say it in the track, like you paid off your mum's debt. Um, yeah. And I was watching uh, another New York king, Sebastian Telfer, is on the Breakfast Club, and um, watching him, he was talking about, you know, coming from New York and getting out of his situation and getting loads of money. Now it's difficult to kind of, it you is. know, you got to support <laughs> everyone. I mean, you got a lot of people in the room as well, a lot of friends and family. What's it been like, you know, going from nothing to something and? Man, kind of what, just, what do you do when you, when you get to that point and have this money that you might not have seen before growing up? It's really a learning lesson and it tells who you are. Once once you get to this point, it tells who you are as a person, how you handle it. You feel me? Like like you can't you just gotta you just gotta be a man about it and handle your business and just keep it a hundred with everybody that kept it a hundred with you. That's the main thing I would say, you feel me? Okay. And then with you and Rich the Kid as well, obviously you're signed to Rich the Kid. On the album, there's no Rich the Kid feature, um, which I feel like a lot of people were expecting. Like, how comes you, you didn't want to put Rich on, on that? Man, me and Rich got 100 tracks. Yeah. They already know. That ain't nothing. Okay. They don't even care about that. We got a song. We got a bunch of songs that's out already. More to come. That's nothing, you know. Rich, Rich should be on the album, though. So are they saved for um, Rich Forever 4? Yeah. Is that coming? Exactly. Is that coming out at some point? It's in the cut. Just stay tuned. Okay. Now with with me and my girlfriend, mm -hmm. I use you as a good excuse. Because it seems like you and your girl, <laughs> one minute you're on Instagram posting pictures together, the next minute she's deleted off the gram. So when my girlfriend's having to go with me, I could be like, Well, Jay Chris does it as well. So what's the situation with that? Is it hard to be in a relationship when I see you doing tours and you know in different clubs all the time? Nah, it's good, man. No. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> you dig. You know, you just gotta you just gotta get that rider. You good. You okay. know what I'm saying? You feel like you got that? Yeah. Yeah. 
Got that. And um, with the album as well, obviously, Try It, is that the lead single that you pushed off with? That and Ego. But um, what, what, what other one are you going to do a video for? I'm thinking Brown Hair needs to be. I'm about to shoot a video for every song on that, bro. Oh, brown Hair coming soon for the ladies. Got Resort video coming. I got Try It video out now. Smutty video coming. Peso video coming. Yeah. Japan. We got a whole lot of moves coming up. Everything. Yeah. Right, so Jay Critch, on the show, we have uh, a game called Five Questions, Five Seconds. So I've got a timer. You're going to have five seconds to answer these five questions. Is Let's that cool? Do it. Okay, the first one is this Jay Critch, Rich the Kid or Famous Dex? Damn, that might be Rich. Rich, okay. <laughs> He's got to text you like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, second question Who is it, Dex? Um, yeah right, First Dex. Worst rapper you've heard recently Shit Worst I don't listen to whack rappers, man Okay So no names No names no I don't names. listen to whack rappers Okay um, Last celebrity's Instagram That you've preed I might get in trouble if I answer that question, brother. Let's do it. We don't, we don't have to show you this bit. Bernice, probably. Bernice. <laughs> Somebody like that. No, somebody. I don't know. All your boys have done the exact same thing. Yeah, Because they're all laughing. Um, biggest. Biggest. Bernice in the DMs tonight? Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> biggest celebrity that's DM'd you. Off the top of the head, I have to say Fab. Fab, okay. Okay. Yeah, Fab. And last one. Last person that you was on the phone to. Mama Love. Shout out Mama Love. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> the mums. Jay Critch, thank you so much, bro, for coming on the show. You already um, know. Best of luck. And uh, I'm going to see you tonight at the show. You already know. Yeah. Jay Critch, her face. Shout out my brother, Reese. We here at BBC One Extra. Hey, Electric Ballroom tonight. Pop the hell out. You know what's going on. My guy. Love, bro. Gang.